And I'm here to tell you that I've been in a room with hanging with the President of the United States to a billionaire, to one of my friends who makes $600 million in a year, to uh, other friends, right? And I'm, I'm able to tell you as a witness that making money doesn't make you happy. You have to find something within you that fulfills you. Something within you. Every one of you has a story. Every one of you has greatness. You were born with it. The most important opinion you should have in this life is the opinion of yourself, not what other people think about you. I'm up here rapping at FBLA PBL. I know some of you don't even probably like my rap. Raise your hands. No, I'm playing. <laughs> No, but you know what I'm saying? But I'm up here being myself. And that's what you gotta be, be your best self. And I also learned to not let the inner me become the enemy. You go after your dreams. Don't let the little thing inside of you tell you, oh, you're not good enough, oh, you're not pretty enough, oh, you're not tall enough, or you're not short enough, or you're not skinny enough. No, you have a dream that's been put inside of you, you go for that dream. Because either you go for that dream or you're going to help another person build their dream. Why not try to build your dream and help change the world? My life has changed drastically because when I started finding value within myself, I realized that I could help others. And let me break it down for you real simple. HOPE. This is a Derek Clark acronym. HOPE. Helping one person every day. Hope. When you go back home tomorrow, you remember Diamond D. You remember Diamond D sharing a message of hope. Because every one of you has a story. And every one of you has the ability to share hope. And when you share hope, greatness comes even more. Greatness comes through your character. Greatness comes through adversity, overcoming adversity. I have a nice scar, about an inch thick, right over my artery, where I, as a teenager, did something very self-destructive to me. And when you puncture your artery, blood just doesn't dribble out. It's like a movie. Blood escapes from your body. And as I'm on the way to the hospital, my foster mom's telling me how much they love me, how much they care about me, that I didn't care about myself. And I know there are people suffering in this room because I just did a PBL, FBLA conference last week, and you would not believe on how many emails I received, how many Facebook messages I received from people that are hurting. In order, you to, in order for you to be great in this world, you got to overcome the weakness. Never let your weakness destroy your greatness. Never limit yourself. Now, I graduated high school with a 1.8 GPA. That's crazy, huh? But I learned it's not about my IQ, it's about my I will. I learned it's not about how much smarts I have, it's about how much heart I have. Well, thank you. Now, I can tell you that a GPA like that limits you. But I'm telling you that those are the greatest numbers for me because my mom dropped out in eighth grade and my dad dropped out in ninth. So I'm the first one in my family to break the cycle. And I can tell you right now that my kids are going to be better than me. I had to start the cycle. I had to start a new cycle, break that generational gap, and say that I am better than my mom and dad, that I'm not defined by my parents' mistakes. I'm not defined by my mistakes. I own me. I define me, right? You define you. You define you. Now, you step up and own yourself. You step up. This is your life.